Hi love, so in this video today I'm going to cover 15 breastfeeding problems and how to solve them. Okay, so the first one we're going to go over is my baby won't latch. Alright, so if your baby's not latching, it could be, I'm going to give you like three reasons here. One, you need to burp them. If you just fed them and they're cranky, crying, pulling off the view, burp them, okay, because they need to burp. Two, it could be your nipple or your boob is way too full, it's way too hard, and they can't get a good latch. Now what you want to do is squeeze, squeeze some of your milk out or pump it just a little bit till your nipple is soft enough to where you can kind of pull it out so they can latch. Um, and three, skin to skin, honey. You need to go skin to skin because when a baby reacts much better when you go skin to skin. And I have an awesome hack actually that I have on one of my other videos. It's you wear a tank top like this, one that's stretchy, and you put your baby inside here and then you feed them that way. And that way they can get a good latch and are also skin to skin and you don't have to hold them. They're like snug in your shirt so you can kind of like, well you do have to hold them, but you can like hold them with one hand and do other things while you do it. So let's move on to number two. Falling asleep at the breast. Okay, so if your baby's falling asleep at the breast, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you don't want them, you don't want to get them in the habit. Like, you don't want to make, let them fall asleep. Because you want to make sure their stomachs are getting full and they're getting enough milk. So, what you want to do, the best way to keep them awake while feeding is to tap their feet. You want to flick their little feet and, like, play with their feet to keep them awake. So they will eat and just let them eat. And then when you can, when you think, okay, maybe like five, five, ten minutes there, they ate for a good solid five, ten minutes, then they're tired and they're falling asleep. All right, then let them fall asleep because I'm pretty sure they had enough at that point. So four, what's their pain? They hurt in between feedings and you have a shooting pain. Okay, that one, you got to go to the doctor because that is 10 to 1, that's a thing called thrush. Now, it's not a bad thing. Don't get all paranoid because a lot of babies get it. Both of my daughters have gotten thrush when I when I fed them. It's, it's actually very, very common in breastfed babies because what happens is, like, it's a yeast infection on your um, breast and it gets spread, you know, to their mouth from nursing. Now, it's not a... There's an easy treatment for this. You can use, um, it's called Violet. I'll link it down below. You can use that on your breast and your baby's mouth. Or the doctor will pre prescribe you something to um, use. But I've used the Violet stuff and it works amazing. Um, I can't say the right and the name real well because I'm not really sure. I'll just link it. Something Violet. I'll link it down below. Kid is constantly eating. Is this normal? Yes, it's perfectly normal. Your kid constantly eats, especially when they're going through the cluster feeding stage. When they're going through the cluster feeding stage, which they go through like four of them. And um, what I can say there is just keep feeding them because their stomach is growing so they're trying to fill their belly up and that's why the cluster feed. Okay, my baby is gulping, choking, always seems fussy at the breast. Why? Well, okay, there could be more than one reason for this, but mainly the reason behind it is your, your flow might be too fast for the baby to handle. And how to fix that is, like, what I used to do is, when I feed my daughter, I'd have really bad, like, letdowns, and it'd squirt full force. And she just, she couldn't keep up with it. She was choking. So what I would do, and this is my solution, I would say to you guys, is take a towel and um, put it over your breast and let that milk come out. So when she latches, it's not squirting. So let... Like, put the towel on your breast, let your let down get done, and then relatch. And that, and the flow won't be so fast, and your baby will be able to eat without swallowing so much air. My boobs are engorged and swollen, they hurt. Okay, so there's 
again, there's more than one thing to do here. One, use heat and pump if they're engorged. Now, if you just gave birth and your, your boobs are engorged, do not pump, okay? I'm Well, you can pump, just pump literally no more than until you feel comfortable, like an ounce. Because if you pump all that milk out, I did the same mistake with my first, and it was terrible. If you pump all of the milk out of your breast, what you're going to do is you're going to get all that milk out, and then they're going to refill up, and it's going to work. It's going to be worse because they're going to fill up two times more. Because your body's thinking, okay, i got to make more milk. This baby's drinking all of it. So, um, um, but if they're swollen and they're painful, there is cream out there for that. Um, there's Lansin, um, there's nipple cream. If you look up, um, I'll link down like the best nipple creams for you guys. But also use ice packs. Um, you can use just get a bag of ice, put it in a towel, and just stick it on your, your boob, like in your bra, like that. And that'll help with that, and that'll help you feel a whole lot better. My nipples are cracked. Okay, if your nipples are cracked, again, this I would recommend, you know, get some cream for them. Also, make sure you have a deep latch. Now, the thing, it's hard to explain a deep latch, but I gotta explain it to you. Getting a deep latch is you want that baby to have your whole nipple in their mouth. You don't want them to latch just on the front because what that's gonna do that's going to give you a sore nipple. That's going to make your nipple bleed, and that's going to really hurt. So you want them to have it around your whole nipple here. Okay, so because what happens is this part, say this is like the tip of the nipple, that goes back in their throat. And and uh, that is like every time they drink, it's kind of like they, they get the milk. So make sure you have a deep latch, and that's the number one problem usually when it comes to crack nipples is you're not getting that deep latch. So make sure you have that deep latch. There's a, okay, so there's a, there's a tender area in my breast. What is it? Okay, this could be a plugged duck or a clogged duck. And if you don't get this out right, like get it out soon, it's going to turn into mastitis. You don't want mastitis. So how to do this is use some heat. Get in the shower, let the water, you know, massage your breast hand pump, express, have your baby be latching and drinking because you want to get that clogged duck out. And I know this sounds gross. I was saying the same thing. But the best way to get that out is to let your baby nurse. So stick your baby on there if they're hungry and just massage your breast at that spot while your baby's nursing. Even squeeze it a little. Move down and squeeze it so that clogged duck moves, 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 and finally comes out. So you, um, so you really want to get it out so it doesn't turn into mastitis. Let's move on to number 10. <laughs> I have a painful red spot on my breast. I, again, again, this could be a clogged duck. So what you're going to want to do is use heat use heat or pump or have your baby nurse or nurse yeah and get that duck out okay I have a white dot on the end of my nipple and it really hurts that's called a milk blister um and that's not a big deal like it'll go away it might be a little painful while your baby nurses but it will take a couple days till it goes away so just Bear with it and let your baby nurse. It's too bad to where, you know, you, you want to um, pop it. Use a very sterile needle and, like, just stick it a little and then squeeze it out. I had to actually do that one time. I had a clogged duck so bad that, like, it, it wouldn't come out. So I grabbed a needle and I actually stuck it. And then I let my baby nurse and it came out. Nipple turned white after I nursed my baby. And now it's throbbing. Okay, this... This this happens when, like, your baby's nursing and your nipple, the nipple's in the baby ma baby's mouth, so it's warm. When you take it out and it gets cold, your nipple has a reaction. So what you want to do after that is put something warm on there. Put, like, a heating pad on there. Or even rub it to make it warm again. Like, get it to where it was. 
That way I'll be more comfortable with you and more. Right? That's, it's no big deal. It's happened to me quite a few times, actually. My baby spits up after every feeding. Is she eating enough? Um, don't worry too much about that. If your baby's gaining enough weight, like if they're rapidly gaining weight and not losing it, then you're fine. Okay, then you're making enough. It could be just they ate too much because a lot of babies eat too much and end up spitting up because they ate too much because they don't know when to stop. They're like, okay, I just want to eat, 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 eat. And a lot of babies like to comfort nurse. So when they're comfort nursing, they're getting milk. So they're going to eat too much and they're going to spit up. So if that happens, just try to make them fart to put their little legs up try to get them some belly exercises you know to loosen everything up in there and then they should be okay but don't feed them again like burp them and they also could spit up too if you didn't burp them so make sure you're burping them in between feedings and i would recommend switching sides because you don't want to be lopsided if you don't switch sides you're going to be lopsided my breasts no longer feel full am i not making milk Yes, you're making milk. Um, your breasts won't stay engorged and full and leaky. Okay, now leaky, I've always leaked, but now I don't leak anymore. Um, but what, why that is, is because your body adjusted to how much your baby typically drinks. So therefore, it knows how much to make. And you're not, so your breasts aren't going to stay full and hard anymore. They're just going to like be soft but yet you're still making enough milk for your baby because your body's measuring it now so it knows exactly how much to make and if your baby ends up drinking more your ba your body will adjust and drink it. your body's going to adjust to your baby's needs that's the, one of the best things about breastfeeding is your body adjusts your body knows our bodies are awesome ouch my kid is biting okay now what you want to do if your baby is biting Okay, I know this is going to sound harsh, and actually it's already my doctor actually told me this. What you want to gonna, what you're going to want to do is when they bite, flick them on the cheek, take them off your nipple, and tell them with a stern voice, no. No biting, no, or don't bite. But make it something like that you have a stern voice to tell them about. Because you got it, you got to put it in their head that if they bite, they're not going to get fed. So they need to understand they can't bite. And the only way to actually like, explain it to them and not really hurt them is to flick them on the cheek and say no. And I've done that with both my daughters, and it has worked. They, once I flick them on the cheek a few times, they, they stop biting. Now, if they're teething, they, they, don't, they might not understand that they bit. Because if they're teething, their gum is hurting so bad that they... They don't feel it. They just don't feel it. And they just want something to comfort that 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 uh, gum. So give them a cold toy. Like if they're biting you and you know they're teething, try to give them a cold teething ring or a freeze pop. They work actually really good. If you give them a frozen freeze pop to chew on, um, a frozen bottle nipple, you could do that. Um, a frozen milk pop. That way they could eat that and um, relieve their their gums. You could also always try the old old the old way they used to do it is they used to rub whiskey on their gums. Um, but they do have some creams if you look. Um, I'll do some research and link some down below. They have some all natural creams that you can put on their little gums that actually will help them stop. Like it'll help with the pain. But, alright loves, that was my 15 problem solving um, things for breastfeeding. But I will see you in my next video. Bye bye